assalamu alaikum guys many civil engineering students they have demand of bar bending schedule for rcc beam so therefore today i decide that i will prepare a video on bar bending schedule of beam so therefore you must watch this video from start to end to learn how to make bar bending schedule of simply supported beam so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video remember guys first of all why what's the reason that we prepare bar bending schedule for beam column and slab because with the help of bar bending schedule we can find the quantity of steel easily we can find the total length of steel bars which we are using and different uh, shapes of steel bars which we are using in slab or in beam or in column so therefore we must prepare bar bending schedule for rcc structure so let's start guys as you can see guys the topic is bar bending schedule of beam so guys this is the beam you can see which length is six meter and these two are columns this is one column this is column okay and this is other column okay so this is simply supported beam length of the beam is six meter clear length of the beam is six meter now guys you can see here this is the column which is 0.2 meter okay also this is 0.2 meter it is important to find the total length of steel bar therefore now guys you can see here we have uh, this is the section okay so here guys you can see this is the section of beam here guys you can see okay so the depth of the beam is total depth of the beam is 500 millimeter or 0. 0.5 meter and its width is 0.4 meter 400 millimeter sorry okay and here at the bottom we have four numbers of steel bars and the top section we have two numbers of steel bars bottom and top steel bars dia is 12 millimeter this is 12 millimeter and also top bar dia is 12 millimeter okay remember this and dia of the stirrups guys you can see this is stirrup guys you can see okay the red color can show you the stirrup which dia is guys 8 millimeter right and the spacing of the stirrup is spacing spacing of the stirrups two stirrup spacing uh, spacing is 300 millimeter or 0 0.3 meter right guys you can see here these are the bottom bars this one and this is the top bar we have four numbers at the bottom of this beam and two numbers at the top so let's start guys you can see here we should prepare uh, five columns same like this the first one description of the beam second shape of the steel bar because we have different shapes in steel uh, for beam column and also for slab and numbers the fourth length in meter and the fifth one total length in meter okay so guys first of all we will find the uh, length of steel bar at the bottom we have four numbers of steel bar so this steel bar we will find this one as you can see this one okay the bottom steel the red color can show you the longitudinal bars bottom and top bars and this green color can show you the stirrup okay so these are stirrup this is stirrup guys okay so the video will be little long but it's important therefore you must watch this video from start to end so let's start guys the bottom bars okay so bottom bar length we required so what is the shape of bottom bar guys you can see the shape of the bottom bar is like this here you can see also here we have the development length so therefore the shape of the bottom bar is same like this as you can see this one right so you can see this is the shape of bottom bar how many numbers we have four numbers guys you can see one two three four numbers we have at the bottom so what is the length of bottom bar one steel bar length is 6.608 how we can get this okay first of all guys you can see we require the length so length is equal okay six meter plus okay so six meter now guys you can see here we have also this steel bar this so this is 0.2 meter 
so from 0.2 meter also we have here concrete cover guys you can see this is concrete cover as you can see here this is concrete cover also this side we have concrete cover okay so first of all six meter plus this is six meter clear six meter okay we required the bottom steel bar length okay there which is 6.608 so how we can get this is uh, i'm calculating this okay so length is equal six plus 0.2 this is 0.2 and also this is 0.2 meter okay so 0.2 meter plus 0.2 meter okay this is one and this is the second one column now guys subtract subtract r minus concrete cover which is concrete cover is here 40 millimeter which becomes 0.04 meter okay so guys it becomes 0.04 one side and 0.04 other side so it become 0.08 meter right now guys plus what development length this length this one you can see guys this one also this one how we can get this length remember we can get this length with the formula of this one we can get this length guys with the help of 12 d where d is die of steel bar and die of steel bar is 12 millimeter you can see also bottom and also top so guys you can see 12 multiply 12 so we need 144 millimeter okay so 144 millimeter plus 144 millimeter also this is the other okay also this one so zero point uh, yes zero point 144 plus 0 0.144 right so guys this is the total length of what bottom bar so now guys when you calculate this we will get 6.608 meter okay when you do calculation of this 6 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 uh, minus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.144 plus 0 0.144 one side development length and other side development length we also uh, plus with this okay we add it so now guys you can see 6.608 meter is the length uh, length of bottom bar so we have four numbers so what is the total length in meter so four multiply 6.608 so we need we required 26.432 meter total length of bottom bars for four bars we have 26.432 meter length okay now guys we uh, now we will calculate the uh, length of top bars length of top bars you can see guys this is the length of top bars this one you can see right so guys the shape of the top bar is this one you can see and we have two numbers at the uh, at the top which is this one so the length is same 6.608 because shape is also same this is just the opposite of the bottom you can see the shape is this one for the bottom and the top shape is this one okay so the length is 6.608 meter so 2 multiply 6.08 multi uh, 2 multiply 6.608 so we will get 13.26 meter okay this is the total length of top bars in this simply supported beam okay now guys we will find the uh, steel uh, steel length for this stirrup stirrup you can see guys these are the stirrups so first of all how many numbers of stirrups required in this so guys you can see we have the total length of the beam that is 6 meter so 6 meter divided by 0 0.3 because spacing between two uh, stirrup is 0 0.3 means 300 mm okay now guys we required here 20 numbers 20 numbers of stirrups are required so what is the shape guys you can see this is the shape of stirrup guys you can see here shape of stirrup so 20 is the total number so now how we can get the length of length of stirrups guys you can see so the length of the stirrup is 1.67 meter 1.67 meter how we can get this length so guys you can see this is 400 millimeter this is 400 millimeter but we will subtract the concrete cover so guys concrete cover is what 
40 millimeter 40 millimeter okay so guys you can see 0 0.04 meter okay so also 40 millimeter this side also this side is 40 millimeter okay so guys you can see now we can get the length of the stirrup length is equal we have 400 so subtract 40 millimeter one side and 40 millimeter other side this side 40 millimeter this side 40 millimeter so guys you can find the total length uh, this is uh, 400 so it become 320 millimeter from 400 we will subtract what 80 millimeter one side concrete cover other side concrete cover again plus 320 millimeter so this is also one and this is the other right now guys plus plus what this is 500 millimeter total depth of the beam is 500 millimeter so subtract okay this is the simple method okay and i'm okay myself also using this method to find the total steel quantity our quantity of steel for beam column and slab okay so this is the formula which i am discussing the front of you so guys now 500 millimeter is the overall depth of the beam so subtract 40 plus 40 now we need 420 millimeter again plus 420 millimeter okay this is one side and this is other side okay for uh, 420 and 420 plus guys we have these hooks these hooks we can get these hooks with 9d or 12d okay but we will get with 12d okay where die of steel bar is 8 millimeter guys you can see so we will get 12 multiply 8 then it become 96 millimeter okay so 96 plus 96 okay this is one hook and this is the other okay length of hooks so guys when you calculate this so it will become what it become 1672 millimeter so it become 1.672 meter right so this is the length of stirrup one stirrup so 1.62 and total numbers we have 20 numbers so it become 33.44 meter total length of stirrups which we are using and this simply supported beam so guys this is the specific method this is the specific formula which i have discussed the front of you so guys if you need to find the total uh, length of uh, steel bar uh, okay are you need to prepare bar bending schedule how to prepare bar bending schedule so guys this is the simple method implement this method for uh, for beam okay so in next video i will also uh, make it for the column and also for the slab so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment remember if you need the quantity of steel for this so i've already discussed in many videos use the same formula d square divided by 162 so guys here the stirrup dia is a the stirrup dia is 8 millimeter so 8 millimeter multiply 8 millimeter d square okay then divide by 162 so it will give you the length uh the the weight of steel for one meter then multiply unit weight with 33.44 you will get the total weight of steel and stirrups so for uh, bottom bar and also for top bar you will change the die of steel bar which is here 12 millimeter okay so this is the method by which you can find the total quantity of steel and bar bending schedule so guys if you have a question so i've already discussed you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye